Okay, folks, so you've just seen some content based on a call stack. And instead of doing an exercise, what I think would be useful at this point is for you to use the debugger within VS Code, the debugger being an application that will enable you to pause the execution of your code and step through line by line so you can see exactly what is going on. So sometimes the debugger is slightly confusing. So what I suggest you do is you follow along with me in this particular case so that you can use it yourself. So I'm going to go to exercise naught and I'm going to go to example four and I'm going to look at start by looking at this example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a red dot here just by clicking next to line four like so. And this is referred to as a breakpoint, which means when the debugger is launched, execution will be paused at that point. And we can look around and see what is in that environment at that point in the execution. So if we head over to the debugger and click run and debug, we get something that looks like this. So. If that was a bit too fast, just one more time. I was here before on Explorer, and then I head down to the run and debug part, the VS Code. And then you're gonna need to click run and debug. And then it just will come up with something like this. And this yellow line that's highlighted shows that we've been paused on this line here. So what I want you to do is now that you've set this up yourself, I want you to look around, check out the variables that we've got in here, but also I want you to think carefully about what you've got down here, because now we can see the call stack. What I would like you to continue doing is to clicking click on step over and look at what happens to the call stack when you've done that. And when you've happy, you've done it a few times with example four and you've played around and you've checked out the environment, the local variables and the call stack. Once you've done that, pick another few examples from here and use the debugger to figure out what is going on. Remember, you're going to need to add breakpoints to pause the execution. And the thing to look out for are things like the variables that you've got and also what is happening with the call stack in these examples. I would pick maybe three examples or so and spend about 10 minutes just playing around and seeing what happens to the call stack as you move through the code. Cool. Good luck.